Casey Affleck might finally be flying from the shadows of his more famous brother Ben, but the Academy Award-winning star of Manchester by the Sea has courted more than his fair share of controversy along the way. His recent brush with stardom, thanks to his 2017 award season sweep, has brought back to light some troubling past behaviors that have left some of his colleagues unable to make nice with the actor. In 2010, Affleck was accused of sexual harassment by two women who worked with him on the film I'm Still Here. The mockumentary was directed by Affleck and starred his brother-in-law Joaquin Phoenix and ended up being a complete flop that nearly bankrupted him, especially once the lawsuit started flowing. The film's producer Amanda White and director of photography Magdalena Gorka both accused Affleck of making sexually explicit comments to them, including suggesting they sleep with male crew members. White, who filed the $2 million lawsuit against Affleck, claimed the actor ordered a male colleague to show her his genitals, used her hotel room to sleep with a woman, and tried to threaten her into sharing a room with him. The lawsuits were eventually settled out of court for undisclosed amounts, and Affleck and his lawyers have called the accusations false. But once Affleck's star status began to rise, it was clear these allegations would not be overlooked by everyone. Here are some stars who still can't stand Casey Affleck. Brie Larson as the reigning Best Actress who took home the top honors in 2016 for her performance in Room, Brie Larson was charged with delivering Affleck several of his Best Actor prizes the following year. And it was a very personal challenge for Larson, who is an outspoken advocate for sexual assault survivors. At the Golden Globes, she refused to even touch Affleck as she passed him his trophy. And while she was completely professional and polite about giving him an Academy Award shortly thereafter, her disdain was still very evident. Not only did she appear irked while reading his name as the Best Actor winner, but she also declined to clap for the actor as he accepted his prize. In fact, she stood as still as the statue she held until he came to the stage to collect it. In case there was any confusion about what her obvious lack of enthusiasm meant, she went on to tell Vanity Fair, I think that whatever it was that I did on stage kind of spoke for itself. I've said all that I need to say about that topic. Chances are you won't be seeing these two join up for a cinematic collaboration anytime soon. But Larson's was hardly the most overt objection to Affleck's Oscar win. Chrissy Teigen While most audience members were all ears for Affleck's acceptance speech, Chrissy Teigen chose to tune him out completely by taking a nap on her husband John Legend's shoulders. As the cameras panned to Affleck's longtime pal Matt Damon while he thanked him for his help getting a studio's interest in the project, eagle-eyed fans noticed a slumbering Teigen in the background and took it as a not-so-subtle sign of her disinterest in Affleck's words. After all, the whole audience had just erupted in applause, so who could really sleep through a thing like that? Teigen hasn't addressed the speculations about her gesture's possible hidden meaning, but she did cheekily tweet, just woke up what happened shortly after the incident, which allowed the shade to speak for itself. Constance Wu Fresh off the boat star Constance Wu has perhaps been the most vocal celebrity critic of Affleck. So as soon as he scored his Best Actor nomination for Manchester by the Sea, she took to Twitter to unleash a firestorm of criticism, calling into question his alleged actions and Hollywood's supposed acceptance of them. She slammed Affleck and Hollywood at large for positioning him on top, despite the sexual assault complaints lodged against him, saying, "...good acting performances matters more than human integrity. Buy your way out of trouble by settling out of court. Because art isn't about humanity, right?" Even after she was reportedly advised against speaking out against Affleck for the sake of her own career, Wu refused to be silenced about just just how much she despised him, saying, "'I'm a woman and a human first. That's what my craft is built on.'" Luckily, Wu wasn't alone in her outrage. Others, including BJ Novak and Heather Matarazzo, contributed some similarly spirited digital responses to Affleck's nomination, too. Stephen Colbert the Late Show host Stephen Colbert might be a happy-go-lucky guy most of the time, but Affleck managed to get under his skin during a 2016 appearance by showing up in slackerware. Affleck appeared on the program to promote the release of his crime thriller Triple Nine, and the tension was palpable as the two exchanged jabs about his style. Thanks for dressing up. <laughs> I can't tell whether this choice is like the least so celebrity thing to do or the most celebrity <laughs> thing to do. It didn't take long for that comment to turn into a sparring match between the two. No, so I'm not saying that at all. The but people often, I'm not rude at all. No, I'm you're just implying saying, I'm being rude, but no, not at all. A little bit. Things continue to disintegrate with Affleck even snubbing Colbert's offer of a conciliatory cup of water. And as Colbert continued to talk about his threads, Affleck got visibly incensed. You look how, like how long are we going to talk about this? Until I get to my joke. Okay, good. Eventually, Colbert did arrive at a punchline, and it was pretty severe, albeit hilarious. You really look yes. like a street corner Jesus. You look like... <laughs> Eventually, Colbert changed the subject to the movie being promoted by the appearance, but that didn't do much to soothe the situation. You wanna fight me? No. <laughs> It feels like this is where this is going. The two managed to eke out a few more minutes of conversation by talking about other people and the movie in question, but the tension was still palpable all the while. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.